Hey, ¿Qué ha pasado, Anita? Sigue a tu place. Y estamos de regreso con Dead Battle. Volvió por fin después de tanto rato. Y se tardaron un chingo. Pero ya está aquí Ant-Man contra Atom. Yo creo que va a ganar Ant-Man. Al menos antes de ver el análisis. ¿Qué les parece, Follow? Eh, pues, no sé, está bastante parejo. No tengo idea. Voy a ponerle los subtítulos. Ahí está. Para que mínimo tengan algo. ¿Qué les parece, Follow? Y pues a ver qué sale, ¿no? A ver si me hacen cambiar de opinión a... A medio video. Por eso la tengo chiquita. ¿Por qué se ve así, güey? ¿What the fuck? ¿Por qué se ve así, güey? ¿Qué verga? ¿Ya, no? ¿Qué mierda, güey? Se rebullió, güey. Did you know that ants can lift 50? No, otra vez se ve así, ¿verdad? What the fuck? <risa> a ver, eh, voy a recargar, ¿eh? <risa> por favor, que alguien sabe así, güey. <risa> Qué chingados. Eh, problemas técnicos, ¿eh? Problemas técnicos. Creo que ya está bien. Ahora sí. O así es, güey. ¿Así es el video? ¿Así es el video? ¿Qué chingados? No más que lo renderizaron mal, güey. Did you know that ants can lift 50 times their own body? No, ya, ¿verdad? That'd be like if you lifted a car straight. Ah, la verga, no sé qué pasó, eh. No sé qué mierda pasó, pero parece que ya está. Futurama, what the fuck? Vender contra Rick confirmado. Dr. Henry Pym, aka Hank, was considered a genius at a very early age. Hank. By three years old, Dr. Hank Sexo. He was smarter than both his parents combined. He eventually made it. Wey, porque estaba azul el Hank. Era un pitufo, ¿no? Ahora. Sabe judo, karate y lucha libre. Órale. Que sabe, le sabe las peleitas, ¿no? El güey. Los subtítulos, es verdad. Gracias, Ale. Oh, my God. So naturally, he tested the serum on himself, like any Solo er, scientist would, and shrank down to the size of. Me a and just when things started going south, a sweet little ant, let's call her Aunt Hathaway, swooped <laughs> in and let Hank safely back to the lab where he could return to full size. Hank then harnessed the serum and became the superhero Ant Man. Sheesh. Ah, que sí, ¿eh? Como el Kirby, ¿no? Había un juego, güey, donde te curabas Con comida Y si le dabas un beso a tu aliado, güey, también se cura Son hormigas, güey And he's even developed genuine relationships Antena. with some ants, like Ulysses as ant here. But he didn't stop there. Hank developed Arsenal a lot of these stinger pistols that focuses his bioenergy into a stun beam and image-inducing camouflage to mask himself as a ant. It worked so well it fooled Reed Richards, the smartest guy on the planet. He also built a ship that runs on that nifty zero. I think he's going to win this one, Hank, for intelligence, more than anything. Pym Particles, named after himself. Ah, classic Hank. And the Pym particle is the key to unlocking the fundamental constants of the quantum mechanics at play here. They enable you to decrease the distance between atoms. However, in order to do that, he'd have to change the Bohr radius, the ratio of electron mass to the distance the atoms orbit an atom's nucleus. Well, of course. Like how when you make a bagel pizza, you can't. No te entendí ni verga. Believe me, I've tried. It's too small. You just gotta put less. Ah, la verga, se me tomó una pizza, cabrón. So the pin particles are actually displacing mass to an alternate dimension in order to maintain that ratio. Oh, it's like having a second bagel to put the rest of your pizza on. I get it. But if that were true, he shouldn't be able to punch with full size strength if he has less mass. And he's definitely lighter, because otherwise he'd crush the sweet ants he rides. Pues ya. Si no fuera más ligero se truena la hormiga, güey. Trinos, but that doesn't adequately explain how he can have less mass and seemingly more mass at the same time. Okay. Wiz, trust him and his particles. Look at the guy. Mystic científico. The whole thing while wearing a lab coat. What's more trustworthy than that? You're the exception. You think one's in? Of course. He's small but strong. Yeah, cross over with Flash. I guess you wanted ham on that pizza, but I already made the pizza. Will you take that coat off? No. 
Regardless, there is virtually no limit to Hank's ability to shrink. He can go se, se pueden coger superiormente a Scott Lang, decía, para no alcanzar a leer qué más. Oh, la verga. Aguanta, 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 aguanta. Aguanta, 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 aguanta. ¿Qué era eso? A plane of existence below all realities in the Marvel universe. Mm, ¿Qué madre está cabrón? Sí, está cabrón. He's rewritten his own chemical makeup to prevent anyone else from changing his size. And he's used pim particles so much, he's now got an energy field around him that lets him change the size of people or objects on the fly. Okay. Qué chichotas con él. He's never shy about using them. Ay, otra vez empezó a huyar esta madre, eh. Janet Van Dyne with some pim tech to become the Wasp, his partner in crime. Uh, The two ended up rubbing shoulders with A-listers like Thor. No, se está huyendo esta madre, güey, qué pedo. Ant-Man and the Wasp were actually the ones that captured him and pitched the idea. A ver si le puedo fosa así, de chill. The Avengers. Unfortunately, esta vez rehuyada esta madre. No sé qué pedo. He felt that if he wanted to keep up with the big heroes, he was going to have to think bigger. Enter a bunch of those pimp-powered alter egos like Yellow Jacket and Giant. Yo el menos esquizofrénico, güey. Anywhere from 12 feet tall to so big he can enter the overspace, the polar opposite of the underspace. There he met Eternity, who called him Earth Scientist Supreme. Científico supremo, güey. Hank pushed himself to these insane heights, even though he knew the strain on his body could be fatal. But he simply didn't care and kept pushing himself. Thus, his greatest and creation was born, Ultron. Yep, all the Tin Man Tron was created by Hank, not Tony. Mm, Tron, like we. But the mass murder butt thing turned out pretty much the same. Big swing and a miss there. The fallout from Ultron left Hank in a bad place, to say the least. His guilt was an utter, utter failure, and that his best work was behind him. Pensé que iban a poner el pringue. El panel, más bien. No, pusieron el panel. And even though poor mental health doesn't excuse this behavior, it was clear that Hank needed help. He suffered multiple mental breakdowns, endured the physical toll of the pimp. Hay gente que piensa que que Hank en realidad golpea a, a su esposa, güey. So Hank finally did the best panel. thing he could. He acknowledged his problems, got the help he needed, and committed to self-improvement. And with that help, Hank slowly Mira, started making. Desarrolló el personaje, papu. He rebuilt the West Coast Avengers, gave Scott Lang his blessing to become the second Ant-Man, and finally oh, defeated yeah. Ultron. He created oh, a yeah. backdoor Trojan infiltration code to defeat Ultron that was so advanced it went on to replicate and evolve all on its own to create a new species made up of artificial intelligence. Got to mother. Call him the god of modern AI for nothing. Hank has showed over and over again that he's an integral part of the Marvel Universe. Not just by ways of his scientific contributions or victories in battle, but by proving that heroes come in all shapes and sizes. Qué grande. Ok, 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 ok. Está muy bueno, ¿eh? Was born your average human-sized person. He grew up in the north. No hablaron mucho de de cálculos, ¿eh? Probablemente les den mismas estadísticas. Uh, probably. Everything was pretty typical for Ray until one fateful night when he took a walk to take his mind off a frustrating experience. Qué buena edición tiene esto, eh? Qué bien animado, güey. He ran off to the crash and found himself a life-changing piece of a white dwarf star and immediately started messing around with it. Que opacita daba cáncer a la verga, güey. Through it and shrink inanimate objects. There was just one problem. When he shrunk things, they exploded. I do not see the problem. Sounds like he found a foolproof way of blowing. La verdad es que está épico, güey, gente. Con que salió. Ya la verga. Ese perro, ese perro. But first, he went on a hike with his nature club, and as a fellow scientist, I have to question his priorities. But hey, it seems to work for him. I support it. Deja el hombre. For different mics, am I right? While in a cave, the ceiling suddenly collapsed, trapping everyone inside. After searching high and low for another exit, Ray found a small opening and had an idea. A la he could try to shrink himself down and get help, even if it meant he might explode before he got the chance. But he didn't explode. I hope this story has a happy ending at least. Perplexed, <laughs> Ray determined there must have been something special about him that made him uniquely immune to the explosive fate. Something Para convertirme en un átomo humano. Era posible que no le afectara por un mentajén, ¿no? Decía. En la cajita de texto. Adam uses the white dwarf fragment to decrease his size Man, a la verga de este... Manipulación mental, güey. 
but their volume is more like the Earth's, making them among the densest objects in ¿Cómo space. Esa madre, güey? Just a teaspoon of the stuff could weigh up to a hundred tons. The fuck? That's one strong spoon. When Adam shrinks and shifts his weight, he's actually sending his extra mass to a dimension called the mass zone. Where uh, Adam could ¿Qué? maybe live forever. At one point, verga. his apprentice Ryan Choi was murdered by Deathstroke, but willed some of his mass to the mass zone and was able to survive in that dimension. I know, These guys can potentially cheat death, but would be stuck there without any outside help. Okay. From one scientist to another, what's most important bueno, pues es prácticamente is morir, ¿no? Ya es el la pelea, güey. That's what allows Adam to use the power of the white dwarf and shrink while maintaining any weight of material to his full 180 pounds. Básicamente dijeron que puede sobrevivir si se va. Bueno, voy a poner pausa un momento, eh. Puede sobrevivir si se va a la otra dimensión a donde manda toda la masa, güey. Cuando muere, pero no puede salir de ahí sin ayuda externa. Entonces, yo creo que seguiría contando como perder. Also, how we can travel through phone lines or through the air on currents or light beams. Over time, Ray has spread out the white dwarf power to other parts of his suit, and now the bio belt acts as a utility belt for his shrunken weapons and tech. Sheesh. It also prevents his size or mass from being altered by any outside forces. And while he can only increase his size back mm, to his six feet in height, his ability to shrink is near limitless. He can okay. travel between subatomic space to the microverse, the foundation of all reality in the DC universe, where atoms become the size of planets. Typically, he can increase back to his normal size with such force he can smash through diamonds. So if Adam increases okay. his size too much while still within the microverse, he could blow up the entire fabric of reality from the inside out. Hello, Erica. That size means that he can shrink small enough to rearrange atoms themselves. Yep, Ray can take individual molecules and rapidly expand them to cook up a small nuclear blast in the palm of his hand. Ahora si no le dan más, más fuerza a Atom, eh? He also once disarmed a bomb by rearranging it. Porque le están tratando. At that size, he can move at the velocity of light. So fast and so random, he basically acts as a loose. barrier between <laughs> any and all possible atom combinations. But come on, there's no scientific explanation here for him to have sí, superhuman senses or awareness to comprehend being everywhere at the same time. A la verga, eh. If you're small enough, you can fit in almost everything, everywhere, all at once. Like how you can fit an entire pizza a calzone, and then you have a whole pizza everywhere inside the calzone. Man, I get it. Está en todas partes el cabrón. No, science is all I have. Why are you doing this? <laughs> On top of all of Ray's amazing inventions and abilities, he's also got some verga, like a laser güey. blaster and a freaking sword he used to fight a giant crocodile. Relative oh to his size. That was when Ray was believed to be dead, but Atom was murió. just stuck at six inches tall and stranded in the Amazon rainforest, <laughs> where he encountered an alien race known as the Catharthans. And get Son that, aliens? he ended up leading a rebellion against their tyrants. So el espacio por diez segundos. The ruler of all the Kardashians. And his heroism didn't stop there. The Adam was a very well-respected hero and was even asked to join the Justice League of America shortly Sheesh. after his form. He fought alongside Batman and his best bud Hawkman. And you don't fight with those guys without picking up a thing or two. Impressive. También sabe judo a nivel olímpico a la verga. The legendary team was always his incredible mind. He once created kryptonite inside of Superman by realizing that if he gathered up enough kryptonian protons, they would eventually no, become really. radioactive. While stranded in limbo, Adam realized that if the Flash sped up the rate of a nuclear reaction stellar evolution to exhaust okay. its core, they could turn a fire demon into a black hole and use it as a wormhole to get back to Earth. He's a brilliant, hard-working, and determined scientist. Si le sale el chipotle, güey. El chipost. Until he's found a solution. I mean, if I figured out how to blow stuff up as well as he did, I would have stopped right there. I'm the hero that blows <laughs> stuff up. Wouldn't even need to change my name. Ray Palmer lived the dream, going from research scientist a la to mierda. superhero. He picked up the pieces presented to him and built something greater than the sum of its parts. Who knew this tiny titan with massive brains would have just as much brawn to back it up? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, está cabrón, eh, está cabrón. ¿Qué? El Atman, güey. A ver, a ver, a ver, a ver. Y eh, aguanta. Eh, ahora estoy dudando un poco, eh. Por lo que vi, Hank debería ser más listo, es el científico supremo. Eh, Atom también es muy muy listo Pero no creo que llegue al nivel de Hank Creo que Atom tiene 
o al menos hablaron de mejores habilidades de Atom aquí. Entonces creo que le van a dar mejores habilidades. Y no sé si le vayan a dar más fuerza y velocidad, ¿eh? Me, me da un aire a que sí, güey. Aunque deberían estar bastante igualados, ¿eh? No sé, no sé. Vamos a ver qué pasa, ¿eh? Yo me quedo con Hank. Me quedo con Ant-Man. A ver qué tal, güey. A ver qué tal. Oh, my God. Me encanta, por cierto, que tenga el diseño de... You should pick on someone your own size, relatively speaking. <laughs> How did you do this? It's laced with a particle I've never seen before. Pensé que tenía el diseño de los seres más poderosos del planeta. I'm Hank Pym, scientist supreme. Woo! You should have knocked. <sighs> el casco viejo. Qué bonito se ve el sprite, eh. Ahí se muere, ¿no? <risa> You're using pieces of a white dwarf star? <risa> That's cute. Everything we already existed. You just needed to be smart enough to put the pieces together. Supreme. Okay. Qué buenas interacciones, ¿eh? Para el culero. Ah, esta es la del Sneak Peek, güey. En el Youth Peek. I mean, that makes sense, but why are you bringing that up right now? Ok, ok, ok. Estoy de lo perra, güey. No, I'm cut away. Está mamada, güey. Ok. Let's try this. ¿Qué es eso? Oh. A la verga. ¿Ok? Dentro del carro, güey. I'll hack his belt. You lay low and let me know what you find. Huh? <laughs> la hormiga. La verga. Como que se le metió el cinturón, ¿verdad? I search every electron path in his gun and study their probability wave functions. Okay. Might be able to. Se la tronó. El microverso. Uf. Oh. Standing here. La mierda, güey. Se está yendo la mierda de esto. He must be reaching his limit. If we don't get out of here, he's gonna destroy all of reality. A la verga. Oh, el estrés cinturón. In your tools, but I created something beyond the limits of human existence. Okay. I operate on a scale you can't even comprehend. Hola verga. Hola verga. Hola verga. Feliz. The fuck. You can't be afraid. He's so gigantic, man. What the fuck? What the fuck? He put a hormiga on his head, man. This is my head cannon. He put a hormiga on his head and he made it bigger, man. Ant-Man and Adam both had many answers to each other's abilities and arsenals. Both were able to store various weapons at a shrunken state. Not least, the most powerful they gave to Ant-Man. I'll hack his belt. You lay low and let me know what you find. ¿Qué, ¿Qué dice la, la hormiga, güey? Me tapa los subtítulos. Yas Queen. <ríe> ¡Anthony! ¡Es Anthony! ¡No me dejado, güey! ¡No jodas! ¡Es Anthony, loco! ¡Anthony se llevó la kill, güey! ¡No me ha visto! <ríe> ¡Qué épico, güey! ¡No! ¿Por qué no me fijé en la reacción, güey? ¡Qué god! ¡Qué god! ¡Qué god! ¡Qué god! ¡Qué ¡Hola, verga! ¡Oh, estuvo buena! Eh? Me gustó mucho, güey. Me gustó mucho, loco. But in Adam's defense, the fact that he could punch with a fist packed with all of his mass meant that a close-up fight while small. No, me puse nervioso al final, güey. No sabía quién iba a ganar. Normal human strength. Even still, all Ant-Man would need to do is keep his dist ants with the help of his insect confidence and devise another plan of ant tech. 
<laughs> See, Ant has no shortage of. For instance, Ant-Man could alter Adam's size thanks to the Pym particle field he generates. Okay. Hank would just need to stall long enough to remove or disable Adam's bio belt, and he's had no trouble hacking enemy tech in the past. But Sheesh. even with the bio belt busted, it wouldn't stop Adam's ability to shrink since the white dwarf power is contained throughout his suit. Destroying uh -huh. the belt only meant that Ant-Man could alter Adam's size. Whereas Hank ah, has okay, okay, okay. his own biology si size size alteration. Solo hace que pueda alterar Ant-Man el tamaño de Atom. And Ant-Man simply aren't, at least by comparison. Hank could okay. always match Ray's size or just take the fight to the overspace where he would have the edge. Es que se está rotísimo lo del overspace. The overspace can mess with the human mind, but we've seen that Hank can handle it. But if the scientist supreme is really so smart, why didn't he just immediately go up Adam's butt and blow him up from the inside? <laughs> What's wrong with you, Wiz? You a fellow man of science. This Lo del Thanos, güey. ¿Por qué no se le mete en el culo y le explota desde dentro? En mi cabeza, güey, le metió una hormiga por el culo y le explotó, güey. <laughs> <risa> Eso es lo que voy a pensar por el resto de mi vida. Va a ser el next time, güey. No, no tengo ni idea. Ojalá sea Chosen un Dead contra Dragonborn, güey. Pero no tengo idea, eh. A ver. A ver, a ver, a ver. ¿Algo bueno? Sí es, sí es. ¡Sí! ¡Me saca la verga, güey! Tengo muchas ganas de ver esta pelea, güey. ¡A la bestia, güey! No, va a estar épica esta madre. Va a estar épica esta madre, güey. Uh, 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 uh. Le atiné, viejo. Le atiné, viejo. Déjenme, pongo el chat para que hablen. Me gustó mucho el episodio, ¿eh? No sé ustedes. Pero yo me quedé muy contento. A ver, ahí está. Ok, ay, perdón, lo activé otra vez, ¿no? <ríe> ahí está. Eh, ahí está, ¿no? Ahí está. Es que le, lo activamos como tres güeyes. Perfecto. Eh... ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo ven? ¿Cómo ven? Estuvo bueno, ¿no? Estuvo bueno, güey. Me gustó mucho la muerte, güey. Y, güey, no mames. Al final estaba nervioso, ¿eh? No sabía quién iba a ganar, loco. Es que estaba muy parejo, ¿eh? Estaba muy parejo, güey. Pero mira. Ant-Man win y a dormir, güey. A la verga. Y les digo, güey. En mi cabeza siempre voy a pensar que... Ant-Man le metió una hormiga por el culo. Y luego lo hizo grande, güey. Güey, no, les quedó perro, ¿eh? Es dibujada esta madre. ¡Hala, a ver! Ay, perdón. No están viendo, ¿eh? Ahí está. Es dibujada, güey. Les quedó muy, muy buena, ¿eh? ¡Qué pedo, güey! ¡Qué pedo, cabrón! Nah, buenísimo. Y la siguiente, el siguiente episodio, güey. Yo digo que... A ver, tiene que ser 3D, obviamente, ¿no? Ojalá la animación les quede chingona, güey. Porque es todo lo que espero del episodio, ¿eh? Siento que va a estar muy buena la pelea, güey. Siento que va a estar buenísima. Uf, ok, pues mira, el regreso de Dead Battle. Se regresó bastante bien. Sigo un next time bueno. La pelea estuvo chingona. Bien seguida, ¿no? Sí, Juan. Eh, el análisis estuvo bien, yo creo. Tendré que verlo otra vez. Pero... Esta perra, esta perra. Hicieron una referencia a Batman contra Iron cuando le intenta romper el brazo a uno. A la verga. No, no me di cuenta. <ríe> este, pues si estás viendo esto en YouTube, dale like, suscríbete. Nos vemos al siguiente episodio que será Choose and Dead contra Dragonborn. Y pues, ¿qué les pareció el episodio? Déjenlo en comentarios. Chao, chao, papus.